Energy from the sun will soon power cars in a race across Australia. A team of students from the University of Michigan hopes to finish fast, maybe even first. The solar car team has over 100 students uh, in its membership from all different colleges across the university, College of Engineering, Ross School of Business, uh, Literature, Science and the Arts. It's a multidisciplinary team. We've been to the World Solar Challenge quite a few times and we've placed third in the world three of those times. Uh, it's great. It's great to finish that well for Michigan. But it also, I guess it leaves you wanting more. So we came out for 2007 to improve that performance. The team is a Michigan institution, and in addition to its impressive world race finishes, it has won the North American Solar Challenge four times. Right now, two dozen students are in Australia preparing for the next contest, the Panasonic World Solar Challenge, which begins October 21st and will last five to seven days. It's an 1,800-mile race from Darwin to Adelaide that takes place every two years. This year, they're going for gold with a secret weapon, mirrors. One of the best innovations for our 2007 vehicle is our solar concentrator system. So the 2007 regulations required a smaller solar array, whereas the car could remain quite large. What our team has done is, uh, even though we have a small number of solar cells, we're taking large parabolic mirrors that track the sun throughout the day to focus a large amount of sunlight onto a very small amount of solar cell area. And if successful, they'll have really changed the game in solar car racing. This is something nobody else has ever tried before. The team is ready for all the challenges this race will bring. They've practiced switching drivers and have road tested extensively. Drivers take turns in six-hour shifts, rolled up like hedgehogs in the cockpit. It's hot and it isn't easy. There's no power steering in the car, so when you're trying to go 70 around a turn, it can be quite a workout. Uh, but it's definitely a nice feeling. Uh, when you're driving, it's quite a rush. It handles kind of like a go-kart. It's a total team effort, and no matter how fast they finish in the 2007 race, they'll carry the experience with them to their resumes and beyond. It's not every day in college that you get to go out and raise several hundred thousand dollars and lead a team of several hundred students to go to Australia and race in a cross-continental race. So definitely a cool opportunity. And for all of them, it's a self-awakening, a self-learning experience. It's letting the students find what they can do, what their limits are, what their boundaries are, and taking them to places that they probably never knew they could go before. For the University of Michigan News Service and the College of Engineering, I'm Nicole Cassell-Moore.